One of the biggest auto shows is back for the first time in two years. We are talking about the New York Auto Show, and we want to take you there right now with a tour from automotive expert Mike Cottle. Good morning, Mike. It is great to see you. Well, I'll tell you good morning, and it is so great to be back here in New York after two years of being stuck in my basement in Nashville, Tennessee. So it's great to be on the floor. Yesterday, there were a lot of hugs, a lot of fist bumps. Everyone's talking about cool cars like this one right here. I got to tell you about it. So a year ago, Jeep came out with their upscale luxury brand. They called it Wagoneer. And then this year, they said, you know what? It's, we're going to make it even better. We're going to make a long wheelbase version. Consumers said we want even more space to be able to put in suitcases and fun stuff. What we learned about COVID is people want to get out there on the road and you can do it with this wagon here. I love the design of this vehicle and they've extended it 12 inches in length. You'll get Fire TV, Wi-Fi connectability, you connect five access, everything that you need. So Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all those great things you need on the inside. By the way, that cargo space increases up to 44.2 cubic inches of space. That is a ton. Now, I'm gonna bring it down in size a little bit. This is the Subaru Outback. Had a chance to look at this yesterday. This is really cool. This is their XT version, new front fascia. The side has been completely redesigned, very aggressive off-road adventure-minded look. And of course, throw your skis on top, you'll get all-wheel drive ability with that Subaru Outback, the ability to take it on the road. And that massive new touchscreen on the inside looks like a tablet on the inside of the vehicle. Now, here's a name that you may not have heard in a while. It's Alfa Romeo. This is a 110-year-old car company, and this is the new Tenali. This is a small sport utility vehicle and for the first time, they will be integrating into one of their vehicles a plug-in hybrid electric version. So as I say, you can have your cake and eat it too. You have a 272 horsepower engine under the hood and you have electrification as well. Now, everyone in the industry for the past few years has been talking about the Hyundai Palisade. And this is their flagship three-row SUV. They sell out of dealership lots in only a few days. New front fascia for 2023, vertical headlights and tail lights. I love the contemporary and elegant design of this all new Palisade. On the inside, that's a 12.3 inch touchscreen, tons of leather on the inside of the Hyundai Palisade. Now, I'm a big off-road enthusiast. I love getting dirty out there in vehicles. This is the new Nissan Pathfinder, and this is their Rock Creek trim level. It'll have 7.7 .7 inches of new suspension height on that vehicle, all-terrain tires, tubular top on it, which means you can put a camping tent up on top, and of course, that Rock Creek stitching on the inside. By the way, they call those seats leatherette because they're meant to embolden that off-road enthusiast, and it's only gonna be offered in four-wheel drive. I have a few more for you. Here we go. This is the Honda, and this is their HRV. This is awesome. So what they've done with this is they've extended the hood line, and it's based on their Civic platform. So they're going for a clean, sportier, performance-oriented look, and of course, you'll get plenty of cargo capacity in it as well. All-wheel drive will be an option. It's going to be meant for an adventure enthusiast that wants to take a weekend adventure in something like the HRV. Now, check this out right here. They always say, when in Rome, well, when in New York, you launch a car with the name Central Park. So this is the all-new Lincoln Navigator. This is their Central Park edition. You can see this beautiful green color on the outside. This is the epitome of Central Park. Green, lush, grass. Just love being outdoors with this vehicle. On the inside, they're calling this evergreen leather. And one of my favorite features about this, by the way, is it has massaging second row seats. That's an industry first. And they call it Active glide. So we talk about the future of technology. Take your hands off the steering wheel, take your foot off the gas, and you can drive hands free with the Lincoln Navigator. So there's a lot of stuff here at the auto show. I know you're going to want to talk about electric vehicles. It's your turn. I got to tell you, Mike, I am uh, from the world of sports, and you just gave a great scouting report. Job well done, my friend. Great to see you. And as always, we love your updates. Thank you for being with us today.